Jesus wishes to make use of you to make me known and loved. He wishes to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. Those are the words of Our Lady of Fatima to Lucia of Fatima, who was at the time just a 10-year-old little girl. Hello, my friends. We are now in the month of August, the month in which the Church demonstrates a special devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. You know, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Fatima is the crown of all Marian apparitions. Fatima is exceptional, even among all of the exceptional apparitions of Our Lord or Our Lady throughout time, which the Church has recognized as worthy of belief. Fatima offers us a most holy and most sanctifying remedy to the modern age. And by that, I don't mean the modern conveniences of today, but I mean the age of modernism, which is a heresy. In fact, Pope St. Pius X called it the synthesis of all heresies. And this age is so spiritually destitute, so forlorn, and so wanting in charity toward God and toward neighbor, that in anticipation of these worsening times, in the course of the 1917 apparitions, the Mother of God made seven distinct references to her Immaculate Heart. Seven is the number that is viewed by the Church as the symbolic number of God's perfections. And so for this reason, it's no small matter that during these 1917 Fatima apparitions, the Immaculate Heart of Mary was referenced to or manifested a total of seven times. And on a related note, Our Lady also foretold that she would return to Fatima a seventh time, an occurrence which has not yet happened. It's likewise a great wonder to discover that these seven allusions to the Immaculate Heart were made only during the uh, two of the six apparitions that occurred in Fatima from May through October of 1917. The first was in June, which is the month of the Sacred Heart, and the second was in July, the month of the precious blood of Jesus. And it is also the same month in which Our Lady gave the three children the great secret of Fatima in its three distinct parts. Now it's interesting to note that during the first apparition, May 13th, 1917, Our Lady made no explicit mention or any display of the Immaculate Heart, her Immaculate Heart. Instead, she highlighted four key doctrines of the faith. One was the existence of heaven, the reality of purgatory was the second, and the purposes of bearing willingly the suffering that God may send us or allow us to suffer. And the fourth was the Virgin Mary herself as the Mediatrix of all graces. You're listening to Genesis 3, 1, 5. I will put enmities between thee and the woman, and thy seed and her seed. She shall crush thy head, and thou shalt lie in wait for her heel. I'm Mariana Bartold, the author of Fatima, the Signs and Secrets, and Guadalupe, Secrets of the Image, both which are available at Amazon. And, yes, again, I will repeat it, I was the publisher of the Catholic Families Magnificat magazine for homeschoolers, and I was the founding um, editor for the homeschool section of Sursum Corda, which section is now merged into the Latin Mass magazine. Now, although Our Lady spoke of other things at this first apparition, today I will focus on her last words before she serenely rose and departed to the East. And what she said was, Pray the Rosary every day in order to obtain peace for the world and the end of the war. And this one request for the prayer of the daily rosary would be repeated at every single apparition at Fatima. Now, during the visit of June 13, 1917, the children for the first time saw the Immaculate Heart of Mary, but the Virgin twice mentioned it. To Lucia, the oldest child of the three Fatima children, the Virgin said that she'd soon take to heaven the two younger cousins, Francisco and Jacinta Marto, her fellow visionaries. And of the 10-year-old Lucia, Our Lady said, quote, uh, and I will also number these because these are the first, the four quotes about the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Our Lady said, quote, one, but you are 
to stay here some time longer. Jesus wishes to make use of you to make me known and loved. He wants to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. Number two, naturally saddened, the child Lucia would write later as an adult and as a sister of a nun, quote, as Our Lady spoke these last words, she opened her hands and for the second time she communicated to us that ray of the same and immense light, which I had not mentioned, but was also seen in May. We saw ourselves in this light, as it were, immersed in God. Jacinta and Francisco seemed to be in that part of the light which rose toward heaven, and I in that which was poured out upon the earth." Unquote. In this vision of light, Our Lady showed them another secret. For as Lucia would later describe to her bishop in what are now today called Lucia's Memoirs, which by the way I've made available on Kindle, and I will include a link in that for this, uh, for this particular episode, she, she wrote, quote, in front of the palm of Our Lady's right hand was a heart encircled by thorns which pierced it. We understood that this was the Immaculate Heart of Mary, outraged by the sins of humanity and seeking reparation. Let me fix this just a moment. Hope that feels okay. Now, in this one apparition alone, the um, Immaculate Heart of Mary showed her motherly solicitude for each individual, but also for the entire world. So from this June 1917 vision, it's clear that we further learn that a strong and loyal love and devotion to Our Lady's most pure heart, also known as the Immaculate Heart, is in itself a special grace. And if we do not have this grace, we should earnestly ask God for it. Now, not to be overlooked in this June apparition is the revelation that Lucia's life would be long due to her imperative mission to spread devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This fact was further confirmed when her cousin Francisco, the boy who could not hear Our Lady but could always see her, um, asked Lucia how many years longer she would stay on earth uh, in relation to you know, being told that they would be taken, he and his sister would be taken to heaven. And she said, I don't know quite a lot. To this response, Francisco asked, was it Our Lady who said so? And Lucia firmly answered, yes, and I saw it in the light that shone in our hearts. And she added that Jacinta confirmed the very same thing, saying, it was just like that. That's exactly how I saw it, too. That Our Lady predicted and otherwise communicated to Lucia via this light of God that she would live quite a lot of years tells us of the great struggles that would be endured in establishing the worldwide devotion to the Immaculate Heart by all of the means by which the Virgin asked for them, uh, asked for it, I should say. Tragically, this universal devotion has still not taken place as God wills it. That said, it shall inevitably happen because in the July 1917 apparition, the Virgin of Fatima promised it. Now, in July, we see four references to the Immaculate Heart, and of course, it was in July that the great secret of Fatima was given.